Oh boy, have I struck gold. <laughs> I must be as blind as a bat, I swear, because um, I booked this hostel, albergue, whatever you want to call it, um, about 200 metres away. And I came round the corner up the top there where I'd been. And bearing in mind that it's right in front of me, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it up. You really can't make it up. Um, but I walked all down here. What a fool! And I looked at the map. Oh, it's not wrong. It's wrong. So it's Vigna Femita Hospedaria Restaurante Deste 1947. Okay. So this is literally, it's still in Castile e Leon. And it's, there's mountains all around. I can't believe I've walked through these mountains and, uh, and arrived at this beautiful place. It's called Villa Franca. And uh, it's, it seems the further you go into it, the more down you have to go. Because <laughs> it really is nestled uh, in amongst the mountains here. It is beautiful, what I've seen so far and uh, I hope to give you a good idea of what this little town is like what you like so I'm walking in the middle of the road because you do there is a path not much of one <sighs> bearing in mind I've got to actually walk back up here there's a lot of these big amphoras around I've seen they must cost a fortune can you imagine a uh, hippie hippie hut how can you call that Hippie Hut, I need you to make me one of these, but do it for free, would you please? Because I, I dare say they cost an absolute fortune. Uh, as as uh, I walked with some Australians, uh, well, one of them was originally an English person, but she lives in Australia. She was, uh, she lives in Perth, and she met her current husband, her current husband, her husband, James, while on Camino about eight years ago. So it's Yvonne and James. Now there's two names you don't often hear together. <laughs> well, you do actually, because I've got a friend called Yvonne and I'm James. So, <laughs> so that's quite cool. cool. Um, okay, there's a bit of work going on down there, but somewhere around here is the, uh, oh, okay. Uh, access permitted only for residents, okay. So where is the Calais Mayor. Uh, anybody understand that? Mm, whatever. I'll walk down here. I shall have to use some, some terrible Spanish and ask where it is. Because I ain't got a clue. I did see... In fact, there's a church, so I dare say it must be up there somewhere. I'm going to have to go around, aren't I, and go back. It must be up that way, it's not going to be down here. I've got that little passage. Um, I say, yes, we're still in Castile y Leon. Um, I was told by the young lady at the bar that Galicia is about 30 minutes away. Well, yeah, it depends how fast you go, doesn't it? But we're literally that close to the border with Galicia. I've, uh, I've walked further than I expected to do today. I expected to end my Camino today after 12 kilometers, but what actually happened was uh, there wasn't much actually happening in that in that little town except this wonderful cafe bar which revived me and gave me the incentive to push on as indeed a great help like I say from the Australians Yvonne and James and uh, I don't know where to go and also they'd been walking with 
a lady from Texas, Heather, and her son, Orion. Not Ryan. Not O'Reilly, but Orion, as in the constellation Orion. What a fantastic name. And they're having time out and they're going, they're doing a bit of a world tour. And part of the world tour is to do the Camino. They have lots planned. I feel there's going to be a lot of steps up and down in this town. <laughs> this is cool, isn't it? Well, it's actually quite cool. It's very cool because it's this nice bit of shade and breeze. <clears throat> Plaza Mayor. Seek and ye shall find. And over here on this gate, lots of shells indicating the Camino. There's the church up there. Ah, oh, look. Oh, this is the plaza. Oh my goodness, this is good, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, wow. I like this. Me gusta esto mucho. So there's the Castile flag, there's the European flag, there's the Spanish flag. Uh, there's the flag also of Galicia, as well as the pride flag, because obviously it's pride month. And this is the place to be. <laughs> Tell me, why do they do that? Why do they, when they got a side of a building, why do they paint it yellow? I've seen some other places where they did that and I just don't understand it. Oh, sounds like somebody's laying an egg. <laughs> She's having fun. Oh, menu, menu of the day. I've had the menu, I've eaten today, come on. I might stop and have a drink. Oh, what a charming little town. Isn't that absolutely picturesque? That is fantastic, isn't it? Right, that's all for the moment. Adios.